I thought we would get much more interesting <laughs> objects. This is that? Yeah. What the dry. freak? Almost like a gua sha type of deal. How's it all gua sha?我是沙白今天的影片我带来了我们在台湾日常生活中常常见到的物品文化差异大的情况下不知道美国朋友们会不会看得出来这些物品到底是做什么用的呢让我们来开始今天的影片吧let's go 想象一下你在Surfshark VPN的迪士尼通话里 当你的网络饮食面临到了邪恶的小巫婆的时候 Surfshark VPN就是你的英雄 有魔法盾保护你的资讯再也不怕资讯被偷走啦 如果你想要遨游全球 像阿拉丁一样只有自在 A whole new world Surfshark就是你的魔法地图 打开地区限制让你感受网络无国界最厉害的是 使用Surfshark 就像Thanos的专石手套一样 手指一弹各种网络的威胁及教育病毒通通都消失了一起来Surfshark的Disney冒险 让你网络充满魔法与快乐 你只要点击下方的资讯栏连接 使用我的赌价折扣码 开白粉窝铃你不恨可以享受价值的优惠升级色沙罐套装送你额外五个月使用期限快来跟我们一起玩吧 with every culture, there is bound to be differences. So the Taiwanese culture is very, very different from the American culture. The things that we use in daily life are, of course, going to be way different from what you see in the States. So today I prepared some objects for you that are something that Americans have never seen before. And your job is to guess what the object does. Cool. Okay. That's Ooh. exciting. Sounds yeah. interesting. You guys ready? Yeah. So the first one I have right here. I thought we would get much more interesting <laughs> objects. Wipe your butt. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Here is the first object. It's like a medical uh, net, fish net? A no, fish bag. Net? Oh, it's oh, a bag. Oh, it's a bag. bag. Basket? This is a shopping bag. For feathers? <laughs> no, for like the store. Like you go and you put your produce and your fruits and stuff in it. What? No. Why? It'll just fall out this hole. Hold right on, that's here. not strong enough, is it? You can't put a whole apple through here. You can't put... What would fall out of here? This is a grapes? shopping bag, I'm telling you. No, I think it's it's a basket for like fruit, look. <laughs> Yeah, you would put fruit in it at what the market. Is, really? Fruit? Look, it's a bag. Uh, oh. Oh, this is so cute! Very like, temporary bag. Like a like disposable bag. To hold what though? It's tiny. To hold fruit. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. Like a fruit bag? Yeah. Taiwan, they serve ready to eat microwave meals oh. in the 7 Elevens. They heat up your 7 Eleven meal and then they put it in the bag so you don't have to burn your hands with your meal. So you can get like a curry or a pasta or some fried rice wow. or like even beef noodle soup. That's you can cool. get this in 7-Eleven mm. and you just carry it. And then you can hold it and then oh, you, you so stick your fancy. chopsticks on the top. And you then have you chopsticks? Can, no. Do you think American 7-Elevens would be this innovative? No, because no, we don't sell soup not. at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think it'll make sense. <laughs> I hope to one day go to Taiwan and get my little bag of soup. So do you guys think you would use that? Yeah, I think it's great. I think it would. I think I would. Yeah, because yeah, I would just cool. like if if I didn't have that, I would have like a, just a ton of napkins on each side. And yeah. plus, the storage looks good. Like you just have this thin little paper like thing that you just can grab. Yeah, and store cool. it easily. The next one is going to be this. Ooh. Oh. Feel it, touch it, imagine it, pretend you're using it. What would we use this for? Hey, this is what it. Mm. This. It's a big old sponge. Ow. I don't think that's a sponge. It is a sponge. I feel like is this is where you would clean the vegetables from because you can like like the carrots. You can put them in there and it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What so you can touch it, you can feel it, you can look at it. What is it used face? for? It's a face? Looks like a face. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it to clean stuff? That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> this is something that you would cut up and put in a meal. What? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> 
Maybe wash? to scrub yourself yeah. a little, or wash yourself. Uh, That's really hard though. Like who's gonna, yeah. you're gonna come out red. Honestly, I feel like this could be either a sponge to like Is clean it to the wash dishes. Clothes? It could be to wash clothes like, you know or your you... body. Here in America, they sell this and like little things like where you get to clean your, your body with and it like helps you soften up your Or do you cut skin. it up into like pieces? You need it. Ooh. So for this one, you would yeah. cut it into strips and use it as a sponge to wash your dishes. Oh, like this? Oh. Yeah, so this is called a loofah. Oh. This is that? Yeah. What the strap. freak? Just would you guys use this to wash your dishes? Yeah, yeah. I would. That's terrifying looking though. I would <laughs> use it to hit my kids with it. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for the next one? So yeah. Cool. Okay, what is this? Ooh. Little back? Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I know what that is. Oh, this is a cup holder. Ooh. Is it for your bobas? Can I see my water? I feel like this is like for dogs. Oh. <laughs> or it could be for your phone. Ooh. Does your phone fit? No. I think it holds some sort of water bottle. And it has like a style to it, so you obviously carry it around. Or a coffee cup. Yeah, I was gonna say it kind of looks like something to hold them. Thing. Boba. Ah. I saw people in Taiwan using this to carry yes, boba. Yes, so this really? is very sure. famous. It's gaining popularity and almost every girl will have them. Yes. Or even guy will have them. Is that they get their boba and then mm -hmm. instead of holding on to the cup and getting the water all over your hands, yeah. you just hold it there. It's so much more convenient. Wait, which way? You can is hang it, it on way? your motorcycle. Yes. Yeah. Is this for a straw right here? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it does not work. See, this is like the cup, a boba oh, size cup. There you go. Just like that. So I was it's right, Easter. it's a cup holder. Yeah, it's a cup holder. You were correct. Bonjour. The cool. next one oh, yeah, yeah. is this. Mm. Compression socks. It's, Are they arm warmers? It's for sun protection. Is it for something oh. with vegetables maybe too? Something with vegetables? Ooh, these are for the, ooh. The underwear socks. Underwear yeah. socks? They, I feel like they're like, um, what's it called? Leg warmers. I used to have them when I was little. Used to have these okay. portable sleeves. Yeah, because this portable is this is like the cuff. Need a right sleeve here. to go? <laughs> Get a is, portable. Is to it go. to cover tattoos? Ooh, cover tattoos. I actually have tattoos. When, I'm a rebel. Like if you have to like work, That's it's like elephant. a tattoo sleeve cover. <laughs> if you're like working a professional job. Elephants are lucky. <laughs> well, wow. Obviously. Are these undies? <laughs> and no. these are these are these are for the airplanes. No, these are for your arms. From like to protect from the sun for like some spots. Okay, so I think the fact that Eddie has been to Taiwan before is really giving him the advantage. These not necessarily for driving, they could be for gardening, they, they could be to cover up tattoos, they could honestly be for anything, but it's to protect your skin from the sun because mm. Taiwanese women, they do not like the sun. They mm. wear hats, they wear face covers, mm. they wear everything because they do mm. not want to tan. Okay, are you guys ready for the next one? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, what's it? <laughs> okay, these, <laughs> these are for produce. I feel like this is yeah. to, to not burn your, your hand when you're drinking like a hot cup of something. Oh. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> oh, I think we have these here, don't we? What are they? I don't know. They go on like fruits and stuff to keep something away from them. Something. Fruits? Right. This makes sense to like go on a cup or something. That way the like sweat of the cup, you can keep the sweat of the cup off. Well, this is like a type of styrofoam, right? So I'm guessing they just use it to keep the fruit protected. Probably not good so for it doesn't... the environment. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> oh, she told you. <laughs> so what are we thinking? I'm saying it's for shipping. For shipping? I'll okay. Go with that. Okay. You were actually correct the first time. You yeah. put your fruit in there so it doesn't get bruised. Oh. So Taiwanese people love to give fruit as gifts and you don't want to give bad fruit, right? Like when we go to the hospital to visit someone, mm -hmm. we would give like flowers or balloons or maybe yeah. a stuffed animal. They give boxes of expensive fruit. Mm -hmm. And so if the fruit is a little bit more expensive, it'll usually come with these covers on it to protect it from if it falls on the ground, it won't get a bruise. See, I would I like that. Yeah. I would love that. That would be yeah. really cool. Taiwanese apples were like the best. Yes. Taiwanese apples are amazing. They so nice. taste like a yeah. foam or something. Yeah, they're, they're delicious. So good. I don't know yes. how to describe it. Yes, they're uh, juicy and delicious yes, very and juicy. sweet, but not too sweet. <laughs> Important. So there are two more objects. This one. Oh. First. Oh, I know what it's for. You know what this is for? I immediately think comb or head massager or something like that. I think it's a head massager for sure. A head massager? <laughs> <laughs> my 
Do you rub your I did not <laughs> expect that to be on his leg. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it has to be some sort of... You know we all have to um... touch that thing, right? <laughs> Let me go after Israel, okay? <laughs> I don't know, like this. Oh was good. <laughs> oh wait, this actually I don't know. Thing because it's a little ball. But then this can be on your head, like so. head massage. Oh my god, that hurt. Sure, Watch, not try right. it on your hair. That's not your hair, bro. I feel like it would arm. be for like <clears throat> massaging massage your muscles. Your muscles. Yeah. Because you have the little thing that you could like massage it with. I hope this, this is what it's used for. Yeah. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like oh, maybe it's, just it's for your face. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, it could go with the shape of your face, like your cheekbone yeah. that goes in. Yeah, it could be. Like, um, mm. like a, almost like a gua sha type of deal. gua <gasps> So, gua sha is now currently what becoming more and more popular in the United States, but they do it on their face oh. to get rid of the double chin. So, in Taiwan, gua sha is your neck, and this is what it does to you. Oh, it tortures you. That's great. <laughs> yeah, this does? That just reminds me yeah. of a thigh massage. So just reminds me of the kung fu guy who tortured us for so an hour. When you okay, so the little ball thing is for your temples? Really? Yeah. But the back, if you notice, they're slightly wow. curved a little yeah. bit. Like, they're not completely yeah, straight. Yeah. So, curved. it's for your neck. Ooh. And they do a process called gua sha. So here in the States, we have a gua sha thing. Like if you're into beauty and makeup and stuff, gua sha is where you do it with your face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so what they do is they'll use it on their backs <gasps> and they'll do this to get all of the heat and the toxins out of their bodies. That's crazy. You wanna try? <laughs> <laughs> you can try. <laughs> you and Eric. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, last one. That's cool. This looks like something you put in a hot, like to fry food. To fry something, yep. That's what I was thinking. This is a filter of some sort. Good job. Big brain. <laughs> We're thinking hard today. <laughs> He's our bright one. Yes. Oh, it is a filter don't of some it. sort. <laughs> it is, right? Popcorn. It's popcorn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's investigating. It's like a little, a little like magic ball. There are some clues here. <laughs> this is to make large batches of tea. Ooh. Ooh. Or or different types of soup. Ah. But I can definitely see tea being a much more practical application. Oh, I'm gonna say this is to like I'm drain frying. the noodles. Cause like when you Things get it from the there. water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you drain the noodles. I think it's for frying. Well, no, I don't know because it, it can has be for both. It. it could be for both. It could be for anything. You can like rinse off fruit. Noodles. You can rinse off noodles, mm -hmm. pasta. So what goes in there is noodles. No. Oh. Yeah. So they'll have this. It's super cool. It's like a round pot mm -hmm. with little sections. They're like circled off in little circles, and they'll take one serving of noodles and cook it at a time, one at a time, and then they'll put the noodles oh. in there with the broth and then serve it to you. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's cool. So, so this is not a common household object, but if you go outside and order street food, they always cook the noodles in Ooh. this. Cook the noodles. This is a noodle cooker. No! So you put <laughs> your noodles yeah, inside, and then instead of like using a colander, you just pick it up and shake, shake, shake. To this day, no one has discovered the Papa Duck's noodle soup secret. <laughs> That has remained a, it's a secret to this it's day. It's a secret for a reason. In their family. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's question time. What do you think Americans use in daily life that a Taiwanese person might not know about? What's one, of, what's one that you can think of off the top of your head? Deodorant. <laughs> what? No. They have deodorant. They do sell it. Mm -hmm. But there's maybe like four different options, five different options. They're usually not that good. Like Eric, if you smell him when he's sweaty, he doesn't stink. So they like have this gene that makes them not stinky. They don't really use deodorant. I'm like I need that gene. I know, <laughs> same. <laughs> um, what are some of these inventions that you would be likely to use? The 7-Eleven bag. I would use the boba thing. bag. You would use the boba thing too. Because yeah. I would have it on my moped. There you go. Actually, all of these are really efficient. They are. Little yeah. Products. The loofah thing. The loop thing is fire. Mm -hmm. Because I love cooking, I would say the one for the noodles. Okay. Hmm. Probably that. Yeah, honestly. This is really cool. Yeah. Or even the bubble holder. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. That little bottle holder, I would yeah. use like yeah. for coffee. 
for coffee yeah. and stuff? Yeah, nice. True, true. And which one of these inventions was the craziest not useful for you? Oh, Probably like the that first soup one. one. Like the fucking we, weird yeah, one. Because we don't have that here. The we don't have so. a 7-Eleven with soup in it. So You're like, I'll just burn my hands. It's fine. No, I'll just I go mean, to my house and make some soup. <laughs> <laughs> which one of these inventions was the craziest? The vegetable scrub. <laughs> yeah. Probably <laughs> yeah. The fruit one. Really? You it's know like what it little, is? It's because we don't get like fruit little, for gifts and stuff. Like, so like, yeah. we don't care how they look like. We just care how they taste. It's like yeah. an air bag. Yeah. But if you like, give her a gift, I can see why. It's like, okay, like protect it. But like, if not, it's like, oh, okay. Okay, well that's all for today. Thank you guys. Adios. Thank you. See you next time. Yeah. Bye-bye.